There's the big house. There's the U of M Stadium. And here's where they practice over here, but the sun's probably blocking the picture. They got all the band and all that's over there. And then Michael's pad is right here on the corner of Benjamin and Division Street. I don't know if you can see that. And it's an old hundred year old house converted into 12 rooms. 12 rooms for uh, 12 renters. <clears throat> 12 renters splitting three refrigerators and two bathrooms and a gas stove. Can you imagine this guy's making a fortune? You're renting out 12 rooms at uh, over $700 a month. Can you imagine? That's uh, 7,000, uh, 8,500 8, a month times 12 months. I, I want to buy one of these. 402 Benjamin. And Michael's room. Let me back off here. Let me back off. Let me see. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I guess I am backed off. All right, so Michael's room is, I can see Michael, he's right there. He's the first door on the left when you go in off the sidewalk. And there's the park where the band, U of M marching band practices. And the big, the big house is, like I pointed out, right over, right over there. Uh, I wouldn't say that's a quarter mile. I'd say that's less than an eighth of a mile. Uh, if you threw a stone really far, four times maybe, you'd hit the stadium. So this is going to be a very packed area. The, there's the athletic uh, area of the school uh, right across that street down, down there. Uh, in fact, Michael did... Uh, uh, youth football there a couple summers and this is Benjamin Street that's Division Street and if you go up that way about two blocks there's the central campus he's uh, I guess I'd say about an eighth of a mile off of the south end of the campus and then the campus itself goes maybe another quarter mile half mile tops so uh, it'll be a little more than a half mile. He could be on the other end of the campus. Oh, and there's his, uh, he's parking his bike here. He got it all locked up there. Hello in there. I think he's hooking up his PlayStation. Let's go in and check out the action. Room one. Room one. Oh, am I knocking something over here? Oh, look at that blanket. Oh, we need some pillow covers. Oh, there's his. Uh, Connected to the network. Michael, you're, you're connected to the network? Yeah. Oh, the only thing is... He's got games, he's all set. Yeah, the only thing is, is we don't... Like, is this is for his dirty laundry and there's no room for it, Keith. Well, we'll give him a laundry hamper. You know, he, that's too big. The yeah, I thought it'd be nice to just, it'll, you know, contain the smell of dirty laundry. Oh, uh, we we'll have to get a laundry hamper, that's too big. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go down with the tour. In, 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 in the meantime, you can take those white bags, trash bags, put your dirty laundry in, in, in and then tie it up and put it down there, okay? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check out the kitchen. All right, we're about ready to go, Keith. Okay. Okay, again, this is 100, 
hundred year old house. So, one hundred year old house, roughly. Okay. Okay. All right, this is the basement area, and down here in the basement, we've got the second bathroom. The first bathroom is on the second floor, full bath. Now, don't forget, there's 12, 12 people living in this house, 12 rooms. You got a bath, a full bath here, and another bigger full bath on the second floor. For kitchen, we got no dishwasher. <laughs> We're going economical here, folks. This is a, got a sink and drying, and per the contract, if you leave dirty dishes, they go in the trash. <clears throat> a gas stove, an oven, I don't know if you can see that. And every room gets, well, he gets a half a shelf. I see there's room one and two. So he's got from, from there over. So again, we have to go compact. He's just got a steamer and a pot. And he's got a large frying pan, small frying pan strainer. And in here, he's got salt, pepper, herbs, and your wooden spoons and your uh, your wicks and your chopping knives and everything. And he's got he's got a cast iron griddle plate here for uh, for uh, doing chicken, and he's got a cutting board right here. The fridges. There's 12 people, so there's three of these very large fridges. I'd say that's uh, definitely bigger than 18 cubic foot. That's I don't know if it's a 25 cubic foot, but it's, it's, I guess maybe a 23 and there's three of those. There's three of those. Four, uh, everyone splits with four, four rooms. Michael's got this first one, room one through four, one through four. So he splits this with three other people. So he's already, he's going to have to eat up some of these chicken pot pies because he's already consumed more than one quarter of the freezer there. <laughs> Plus he's got his veggies here and Debbie made him up some frozen dishes there. He's got ice cubes. I don't know what else is back there. And then he's got in the fridge part, he's got the bottom shelf, lower right, half. He's got that drawer and he's got that, that shelf for some juice. But not, not, <laughs> you wouldn't want to put a month's supply of food. Well, actually, with one person, he probably could squeeze out uh, with what he's got. And then for, for food storage, uh, we got this uh, cabinet. Let me back up. It's a metal cabinet. I don't know if you can see it. It goes from floor to ceiling almost. And. He's got room one, there's room two, three. Those are other, pe those are other people's stuff. He's just got the top shelf. We've got him with some plastic bags. We've got him two plates, two bowls. Well, you could consider that a bowl almost. Two, two plastic cups, uh, two cases of soup, tuna. He's got some butter here, some more cold butter in the fridge. He's got bread. Back there, all kinds of ramen noodles, and and he loves these Nor Norris things. He's got he's got probably about he's got more in his room. He's, he's probably got about 60 of these Nor Norris peanut butter and jelly, and he loves this uh, chocolate Nesquik stuff. And there's some craft dinner back there. I'd say in this room there's enough uh, there's there's definitely enough food with the soups, and there's rice aronis and and all that there's there, there's definitely a, almost a month's supply of food in there and then we got the washer and the dryer which is a coin a coin laundry thing uh i don't know how much a dollar 25 to do the dryer and a dollar 50 to do the wash so what's that? 275 to do one load of laundry. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. 
And that's that's the kitchen. The kitchen, like I said, the bathroom and the laundry for 12 people down here. Uh, one more room in the house to show. And it's all the way up on the second floor. So that was the basement. Now I'm up on the, the, the first floor. And I believe every room is booked out. I'm going to go up to the second floor. See, instead of having a living room and a dining room, and like a traditional house, this thing has definitely been reconstructed to fit as many dormers as possible. And this is the second floor bathroom, tub, sink. Now I can hear them practicing across the hall in the park there. That's the U of M marching band practicing right there. And the interesting thing I hear, this will be neat for Michael. I don't know if you can read this. Second floor bathroom cleaning schedule. Let's see. Room. Oh, that's the basement bathroom. Okay, so he doesn't have to clean this bathroom. Bath, basement bathroom, second floor. All right, he doesn't have to do that. He's got to do the basement bathroom every Monday. He's got to clean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It looks like it looks like the bathroom doesn't get clean on Saturday or Sunday in the basement. It does on the second floor but um, so that's interesting so Michael's gonna be every Monday spending 20 minutes cleaning a bathroom so that's Michael's apartment not a dorm he was in a dorm last year this year, he's paying rent. But actually, it equates about the same. Keith, we're ready to go. We're ready to go? Yep. So I forgot to say shalom to this house. Shalom to all who enter. All right, what's the tour?